Sup guys, Card Protagonist here with a Blaster Jewel Knight deck. This deck uses Blaster Engine which consists of 4 Blaster Blade and 1 SQ Plate the Blaster. Yep, 4 Blaster Blade and 1 SQ Plate the Blaster. So people who ship Corin and Aichi, this is your deck. And for my case, it's because I feel all Royal Paladin decks must have its leader, Boku no Bunshin, Blaster Blade! -o. So here's the deck. Right, first I play 1 SQ Plate the Blaster. His ability is uh, his first ability is when in the hand, if you do not have a great three royal paladin vanguard, you cannot ride him. So yeah, you can only do a break ride or just ride him over a salom if you can. Second ability is from the Vanguard Circle. If you do not control a blaster blade in your soul, you cannot ride this this unit cannot attack. So make sure you have a blaster blade in the soul um, if you want to use him. Otherwise it's actually quite useless. So yeah. And when this unit is placed on Regard Circle, immediately Immediately retire him. That means he can't be a regard unit because he has 12k. is freaking amazing, of course. Um, and third ability is Counter Blast 3. F until the end of this turn, this unit battle all of your opponent's units. So basically, he's, he's like a um, Vermilion Thunderbolt for both rows, back row and front row. Basically, a few wipe. Just clear your opponent field. Oh, yeah. So, another ability is Auto. When this unit attacks, you Soul Blast every single card in your soul until you left one Blaster Blade. For each card Soul Blasted, um, he gains 2k attack until the end of the turn. So yeah, most likely he's gonna blast around 5 monsters, so he's gonna be bumped up to 30k if you do a break right. And the last ability is, at the end of the battle this unit attack, choose a card named Blaster Blade from your drop zone or so, and write it as a vanguard at rest. Place all other cards in um. Uh, place all other cards in your soul into your drop zone. So basically, at the end of the turn, you'll be just left with one bl weak blaster blade. However, your opponent will be like empty few. Yeah, most likely when you break right um blaster blade over no excavate plate, your opponent will have a full few. And once you few wipe him, he's most likely got left tri be left at with triggers in the hand. Which he can't call because no one will call triggers the attack that's pathetic. Which means you actually cripple his um his perfect few and giving you a high advantage over him. So yeah. So yeah, this is a searchable few wipe by Wingle Brave and Blaster Blade. You seem doing a break right and I can almost guarantee you a win. It's easily searched out by Blaster Blade and Wingle Brave, so yeah. And we play four Juno Ashley. Mm. Brick right when the Royal Paladin writes this unit, the unit gains 1k, um, 10k attack and 1 crit until end of the turn. And when this unit attacks a Vanguard, sh um, she gains 2k attack. Same as Gancelot. Okay, so when you do a Brick right over Escapade um, from her, you can search when you. The Escapade is searched during turn 2. Well, you can do a few wipe instantly, making your opponent fearless. And of course, this is the first great tree you want to write, either her or her, just in case. I play 4 um, Salom. She might be a little overkill to play like 9 great, nine great trees because. Yeah, I don't know. Because I don't really have 1 extra side view. So, and this actually works out for me. So, yeah. And the ability is when this unit attacks and you control 4 or more Jewel Knight monsters, this unit gain plus 2k and 1 crit until you end of the battle. So, you can counter blast 2 tools. And the second ability is counter blast 2 with Jewel Knights in the name, E special counter blast. To search a deck for one card with Juna in the name and call it to your regard circle. Uh, an amazing unit mentioned in my pre previous video. Because Counter Blasting 2 to tutor any Juna in your deck, including a great tree, is actually make Toy Pudu consist consistent. And Toy Pudu is a very, very good boost in Royal Paladin, so yeah. For grade 2, I play 4 Blast Blade. Um, Vanguard ability Counter Blast 2 to retire anything. And regular ability counter blast two to retire a grade two or lower unit, uh, a higher unit. My bad. So yeah, this is my avatar. Use him uh, with winger brave to search out your escape escape the blaster. Basically, this deck, all you need just stack in four blaster and that actually works. That's why he's so good. For Drew Knight Tracy. Yeah. Um. In my mention um, in my previous video I mentioned that this is a burning horn dragon, but she is actually not my bad. 
thank you to my fans to act who actually reminded me. Her, her actual ability is when this unit attacks and you control three or more drew knights on the field, she gains three K more attack, which makes her like a burning horn. Too bad she doesn't have the con control um, Vanguard drew knight and become burning horn because that would be very very good, of course. And two dogmatized drew knight Sybil. Counterblast 2 Jewel Knight units, E Special Counterblast to search your deck for 1 Great 1 Jewel Knight and Superior Core. Search out your booster early early game, so yeah, pretty good. And for Great 1s, we play 4 Jewel Knight Sherry. When this unit attacks, you control 3 or more Jewel Knight monsters on the field, so you gain 3k attack, making a great nice 10k beat stick to rush early game and a decent 7k boost. For Drew Knight Beast Prismi. When this unit is placed on the Vanguard, uh, Regard Circle and you control 3 or more Drew Knight Regard, which includes her, which means you have to just control 2 unit, two other uh, Royal Paladin Drew Knight units, you can discard 1 card to draw 1 card. Futures your deck early game, so you play her. 4. And there's no, actually, not much Drew Knights to play for now, but she has a good ability, so it's fine. 4 Flashing Knight Drew. Flashing Jewel Knight is so day. Perfect guard, go for or go home. And toy to two toy poodles. When this unit um boosts um uh Vanguard or Ragard, as long as you control two great three units, she boosts for 9k. Well this is the best go pa uh, Royal Paladin booster since Salom call Great Tree with ease. Right, for triggers we play one sec. For crits, for stand, for draws, and for heals. Because I'm trying to max out Jewel Knight names, so I'm currently playing balance. And the starter we have here is Wingo Brave. First Pioneer ability. Right, move him. And of course, uh, when you this unit boosts a Blaster Monster and hits. You can put him to soul to look with, to search your deck for Escalplate the Blaster, which you keep f until you break right. Because when you break right over Escalplate, you pretty much win the game. Because he actually depletes your whole op your oppon opponent's field. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. Basically, the, the engine just consists of these three cards. Because I love Blaster Blade. So he's an amazing booster. You can when this unit uh, blast a boost a blaster monster and hits, you can put him the soul to search for a deck for a blaster monster and add it to your hand. Yeah. So basically this whole deck works because of our trusty friend. He always gets the job done. If you if your opening hand a opening hand has a blaster blade, um during turn two you can boost and hit to search for escalpulate, preparing your few wipe your opponent, leaving his offense crippled. Well, of course he's the best Royal Paladin starter. Love you, Wingo Brave. Alright, so for people who are wondering how this deck works, let us imagine it. Let's say our starting hand is like this. Some random cuts. Alright. Basically, let's say that Wingo is our starter. Let's start. Alright, please me. Take one damage, okay. I turn right, Blaster Blade, attack. Most likely he won't guard. If he guard, well, fine, I have a 5k booster behind. Even if you don't get a Blaster Blade and get some random great tools like. Like Tracy. Where's my Tracy? Damn it. Let's say get Tracy. You still have a 5k booster behind. Which won't matter anyway because, well, she, he's still a nice 5k boost. Unless you're going to replace him for uh, Toy Poodles, then you can just replace him. But always 5k boost is still good. And let's say your hand has a scalp, a a Blaster Blade, Attack Hits, Boost, search your deck for Aspalculate and add to your hand. Keep it for, uh, once you hit 4 damage, let's say you ride to Ashley first. And your opponent attacks. Okay, now I have 4 damage, 5 damage hack. Okay. Oh, they don't break right? Uh. Then, um. Well, for this turn, you can attack every unit on the field. Attack every unit of the field by counter blasting 3, of course. 
you have two counter blasts. So actually the reason why I don't play Cybu is because Cybu actually takes up quite a lot of counter blasts. Counter blasts two to be exact. So yeah, you actually want to save for S. Um, let's say you can pull off the Sparkulate crap. You can just you must always save for him because he's just so good. Because um at um four damage, most likely he's your opponent is rushing you. You'll be have like having a perfect view or or whatnot. When you ex when you use Sparkulate effect, you will cripple his. Offense tremendously because and guarding will be a piece of cake because he will likely to be left with only triggers um, to guard for late game, which he won't be dropping on the field to boost or attack because that'll be so dumb. I don't mind doing okay, 5k pass, 5k pass. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Blaster Junoid deck. Be sure to subscribe and as always, peace out.